this video, we will discuss about the solution of non-homogeneous differential equation if the right hand side of the function is a polynomial. So let us take an example. So this is given as d cube plus d of y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 4. Now find the auxiliary equation of the given differential equation. The auxiliary equation is m cube plus m is equal to 0. So taking m common, m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have the solution as m is equal to 0 and m square plus 1 is equal to 0. So m is plus or minus i. So therefore, the complementary function of the given differential equation is c1 e raised to 0x, c2 cos of x plus c3 sin of x. So this is the complementary function for the given differential equation. Now to find the pi, so here there are the two methods. Either you do it by using the binomial expansion or by the division method. So we are going to take the division method. In the division method, write the function as it is divided by its differential equation. So, this will take it as x square plus 2x. Note that in the denominator, the d is common. So, here it is d square plus 1. So, the d is in differential operator and the 1 by d denotes the integral operator. So, it is the integration. So, what we will do it here is, we first go for dividing and then we will go for the integration. So, here while writing the differential equation, you note that you write this in the increasing order. Increasing order of the differential equation and here the polynomial should be in a decreasing order. So this is x square plus 2x plus 4. So this polynomial should be in the decreasing order. Now the quotient will be x square. So that will get x square here. So write x square. The d square stands for the second order derivative. So the second order derivative of x square is 2. So this will be plus 2. Here it is 0. So on simplification, we will get x square, x square get cancelled. It is minus 2x plus 2. Now, with minus 2x into 1 will be minus 2x. So choose the quotient as minus 2x. Minus 2x into 1 is minus 2x. The derivative of 2x is minus 2 and the second order derivative will be a 0. So it is 0 here. Change the sign. The minus 2x get cancelled. We will get plus 2. Now choose the quotient 2. It is 2 into 1 is 2 and the second order derivative of that is 0. So, it gets cancelled. So, this is the question. Now, we have the x square minus 2x plus 2 divided by d. So, this is with the division of 1 plus d square. Now, this 1 by d stands for the integration. So, integration of x square is x cube by 3 minus the integration of x is x square by 2 plus the integration of uh, 2 is 2x. So, it is x cube by 3 minus x square plus 2x. So, this is the particular integral by the division method. Now, the general solution will be the sum of complementary function at the particular integral. So, the general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp which is c1 
c1 plus c2 cos of x plus c3 sin of x plus x cube by 3 minus x square plus 2. So this is the general solution for the given problem. We'll have one more problem of the same type. So this is the given differential equation. So here write this as d square minus 2d plus 1 of y is equal to 1 plus 3x plus x square. So write the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. We note that this is an expansion of m minus 1 the whole square is equal to 0. So m is 1 and 1. So therefore the complementary function for the repeated loop is c1 plus c2 x e raised to take this as a coefficient which will be e raised to x y. So for the particular integral yp is write that polynomial 1 plus 3x plus x square divided by d square minus 2d plus 1. Now we will go for the division. For the division, we know that this should be in the increasing order of the differential equation. So it is minus 2d plus d square. Here, the dividend should be in the decreasing order. So, we will write x square plus 3x plus 1. Now, choose the quotient as x square so that it is 1 into x square will be x square minus 2 into the derivative of x square. The 2 into derivative of x square is 4x so, it is minus of 4x. Minus 4x. The second order derivative of x square is plus 2. Changing the sign, the x square get cancelled. 7 plus 3, 4 is 7x and here it is minus 1. Now, fine. We see that. 7 into 1 is 7x. 7x into 1 is 7x. The derivative of 7x is 7 into this minus 2 coefficient. So that will be minus 14. Now change the sign here. This is 0. So here we will get 13. So take 13 as the coefficient. Quotient. So that is plus 13 into 1 is 13. And the derivative of 13 will be 0. So, this is changing the sign. Here it is 0. So, therefore, yp is equal to x square plus 7x plus 13. So, the general solution will be y is equal to yc plus yp which is c1 plus c2 x e raised to x plus x square plus 7x plus 13. So this is the general solution. Thanks for watching. Take one more example of the same type. So here this is the differential equation with d square plus 2d plus 1 of y is equal to 2x plus x square. So the auxiliary equation will be the auxiliary equation is m square plus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. So, m, the values of m will be, note that this is the expansion of m plus 1, the whole square is equal to 0. So, m is minus 1 and minus 1. So, the complementary function corresponding to the repeated root is c1 plus c2 x e raised to minus x. Now, to find the particular integral yp, it is 2x plus x square divided by we have the differential equation as d square plus 2d plus 1. Now take the division method. 
So here, write the differential equation in the increasing order of d. 1 plus 2d plus d square. And the polynomial in the decreasing order. So it will be x square plus 2x. Choose the quotient so that you get the x square here. So that will be x square itself. So x square into 1 is the x square. Now 2 into derivative of x square. The derivative of x square is 2x. When you multiply with the 2, it will become 4x. Now the d square of x square, that is the second order derivative of x square is 2. Change the sign. x square gets cancelled. x minus 2x into minus 2. So now choose minus 2x as the quotient so that it, when you multiply with the 1, you get minus 2x. So it is minus 2x here. 2 into derivative of minus 2x, which is minus 2. Multiplying with the plus 2, it will be minus 4. You change the sign here. This get cancelled. You will get plus 2. Now, 2 into 1 is 2. So therefore, take the quotient as 2. 2 into 1 is 2. And for the next term, it is 0. So it will be 0. So therefore, the particular integral is 1 plus 2d plus d square. Sorry. The particular integral is x square minus 2x plus 2. Write the general solution. This is y is equal to yc plus yt. This is c1 plus c2x e raised to minus x and the yp it is x square minus 2x plus 2. This is the general set. Let's take one more example. So here it is, given the differential equation, d square plus 5d plus 6 of y is equal to x square. Write the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is m square plus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. On factorization, it will be 2m plus 3m plus 6 equal to 0. So, the factors of the equation are m plus 3 and m plus 2 is equal to 0. The values of m are minus 3 and minus 2. So, this is the roots are real and distinct roots. So, therefore, the complementary function is c1 e raised to minus 3x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x. Find the particular integral. So, for finding the particular integral, it is yp is equal to x square by the d square plus 5d plus 6. Now, for the question, for the division, it will be write it the differential equation in the increasing order of d. And here, it should be a decreasing order. So, here it is only one term. Now, we need to choose the question. So that it will be the x square. Note that I need a x square. So let me take here the x square. x square into 6 will be 6 x square. That is balanced by taking 6 in the denominator. So it will be x square by 6 into 6 will be x square. 5 into derivative of that. So the derivative of x square by 6 is 2x by 6 which will be here it is derivative of x square by 6 is 2x by 6 which is 1 by 3. With the multiplication of 5 we get 5x by 3. The second order derivative of 2x by 2x by 6 will be 1 by 3. So write 1 by 3. Change the sign. The x square get cancelled. It's minus 5x by 3 minus 1 by 3. Now, for the next term, 
we need minus 5x by 3. So here as there is a 6, balance that in the denominator. So it will be 5x by, 5x by 18 is the next term in the question. So when you multiply with this, you will get minus 5x by 18. 5 into the derivative of 5x by 18, it will be 25 by 18. So here we will get minus 25 by 18. Change the sign throughout. These two get cancelled. Plus 25 by 18 minus 1 by 3. On simplification, we will get 19 by 18. So for the next term, the choice in the next term for the questions will be 19 by 18 and this 6 in the denominator. So it will be 18 into 6. So that will get 19 by 18. The derivative of that is 0. So this is 0 here. So therefore, the particular integral is x square by 6 minus 5x by 18 minus 19 by the multiplication of 18 into 6 is 108. So therefore, the general solution y is yp, yc plus yp, which is c1 e raised to minus 3x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x plus the particular integral x square by 6 minus 5x by 18 minus 19 by 108. So this is the particular integral and the general solution of the problem. Thank you for watching.